Hey guys, this is Volvo and today in this tutorial I will show how we can create this kind of rigid body simulations in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful and without any further delay let's start today's video. So here I am using Blender 3.6.5, nice. So first of all let's create this defaults and the pressing A on the keyboard and delay. Now let's import our model. So here I will be using this Blender kit to get the models, so it is free to download. So let me search as first bowl model. So here we got the bowl models right, so I will select this bowl and let's increase the scaling here so here we got the goal right nice now let's create a ground plane so go to this add mesh select a plane here let's increase the scaling of this ground plane also so for simulations we need to apply the scale so let's go to this object apply apply scale select the bowl also object apply apply the scale so now let's add some spheres so that it will get filled into this bowl so go to this add mesh select sphere uv sphere and let's place this here and let's reduce the scaling so here i'll reduce the scaling like this and let's apply the scale options now here we can duplicate the model or you can use array modifier so here i will simply duplicate the model so shift d x place it here and shift r to repeat that last action and again select these all models shift d y and place it in y axis and shift r to repeat the last action so now again select all the models press one for front view shift d z axis and place this here shift r to repeat the last action so i think these many spheres are enough so it will fill the bowl now select any of the sphere here come to this physics property add rigid body so type let it be active and shape change it to sphere now we need to copy that physics property to rest of the spheres. So select all the spheres here and make sure this one is selected where we have applied that physics property right. Select that one. Go to this object rigid body and copy from acting. So now this rigid body physics is applied to all the spheres. So if I select this you can see we got that property and now if I play this you can see all the spheres are falling down. So now let's add physics property for this rigid body physics property for this ball also so select this ball come to this physics property add rigid body and type let it be passive and shape let it be convex hull only so now if i play this you can see these ps are not falling inside the ball so let's change the shape here so come to this shape options and change it to mesh now let's say this once again so if i play this now you can see these ps are falling into the ball lines so let's select the plane and apply rigid body and change it to passive also. Nice. So if you want to add few more spheres, you can do that. So let me select few more spheres, shift D and place them here like this. Okay. So for this, I will get this friction value most. Let's play this once again. So here, these spheres are filled in the board. Nice. So now let's add another model and make it to fall on the spheres. So here I will be using the human skull and let's search it here. So here we got this skull model right, I will select this one. So it will be loaded. Now right click, select objects and increase the scaling. So here you can see we got the skull model right. So I think I will make it here and let it be here like this. So here you can see we got this PS right, so it got settled in the bowl and after that we need to have this skull falling on these spheres so for that let's bring the skull here aside let's place this here so let's see at what frame these spheres are getting settled down so i think at 78 frame right so select the sphere press i on the keyboard add a keyframe for location and move few frames forward and let's bring the skull here Press M for top view and let's see exactly. So this is five, and again add a keyframe location. Now just five frames forward and repeat this last keyframe. Control C, Control V, and now let's apply rigid body physics onto the skull. So if I play this, first we will get the spheres getting settled down in the bowl. After that we will get this skull model. So let's select the skull model, apply rigid body type let it be active so here we need to enable this animator option since we have added this keyframes right so from starting onwards let this animated option be enabled and 
okay so here we got to the last frame right at 89th frame this location keyframe is ending right so add a keyframe for this animated option there now move one frame forward disable this animated option and add a keyframe that means from 1 to 89th frame this animated option will be enabled after 89th frame this will be disabled so now let's say this so if i play this we will get all the spears getting collected in the bowl and this skull will be falling directly but this skull is not getting inside the bowl here right so the reason is the shape option so again select this shape and change it to mesh let's increase the weight so here we got this mass option so i will increase this to 500 kg and now let's say this once again so getting collected so now you can see the skull is interacting with the spears also and by the way if your model is not acting properly here just change this shape option to convex hull and check it once again for me this mesh option is working properly so i will leave this to mesh option only and i will increase this mass value to 1000 kg and come to this scene properties now come to this rigid body world options catch a options here so here we got this simulations start and end frame by default this is set to 1 to 250 if you want to have simulation bit longer we can increase the frame count so here i will increase this to 350 and also i will increase the frame count here also timeline 350 so after that we can click on this bake button so here the bake is done and now let's see this once again so now you can see this is looking good okay so once the bake is done here i don't want to render all these beginning frames so i think i will render from 90 91st frame so i will change this start to 91 so that the render will start from 91st frame so after that let me select this plane press tab key for edit mode let me select this edge extrude press e to extrude z axis and increase it here now select this edge control b and drag sidewards and add loop cuts by scrolling the mouse wheel okay i think these many are enough now again press tab key to exit this edit mode right click and shade smooth so now let's add a camera in the scene so go to this add camera now control alt 0 to see through camera press n come to this view options lock to 3d cursor and lock camera now here we can adjust the weaving position let's select this background press s x and fill it up okay so now the camera is set now add some materials onto this skull model bowl and this spears and background and render the scene so in this way we can create this kind of rigid body simulations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.